Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Have you ever heard of things being compared to as twice as big? What about the word double or triple? For example, John has double the amount of pets that Jake has. Or Ashley got triple the points that Daisy got on her math test. Sally has twice as many toys as Fred. Well, let's take a look at this last example. If Fred has five toys, and we know that Sally has twice as many toys, the word twice indicates multiplying by two. So we can multiply the number of toys Fred has by two in order to find the number of toys that Sally has. Five times two is ten, and that means Sally has ten toys. We have just translated this sentence into a math expression in order to figure out how many toys Sally has. By looking at key words and phrases in sentences or statements, we can translate them and write multiplication expressions or equations to solve the word problems. Now, some other key words or phrases that indicate multiplication are times as many, times as much, double, triple, twice, and product. Let's look at a few more examples to become more comfortable with translating and solving them. 8 times 5 equals 40. Write the multiplication equation as a sentence. Okay, there are a few ways we can do this. Let's start with the multiplication portion of the equation. 8 times 5. Multiplying 8 by 5 can be rewritten as 5 times as many as 8. We can also use the word product and say the product of 8 and 5. And how about we keep it simple and say 8 multiplied by 5. The equal sign can be rewritten as the word is. And now we can start putting all this together. 5 times as many as 8 is 40. Or the product of 8 and 5 is 40. Or 8 multiplied by 5 is, that's right, 40. Don't forget that we can also switch the order of the numbers because multiplication is commutative. That means we can also say 8 times as many as 5 is 40. The product of 5 and 8 is 40. Or 5 multiplied by 8 is 40. Great work with that translation. Oh, a multiple choice problem. These are fun. Which of the following correctly translates the multiplication equation into a sentence? A. 4 times as many as 5 is 24. B. 20 is the sum of 5 and 4. C. The product of 4 and 5 is 20. D. 20 is the difference of 5 and 4. E. 5 times as many as 4 is 20. Ooh, a multiple choice problem. These are fun. Now, which of the following correctly translates the multiplication equation into a sentence? Okay, the equation is 4 times 5 equals 20. Well, let's begin by looking at all of the options. Let's start with option A. 4 times as many as 5 is 24. We know that times as many represents multiplication, so we get 4 times 5. Now the word is can be translated into an equal sign, so we get 4 times 5 equals 24. Wait a second. 4 multiplied by 5 equals 20, not 24. Ah, that was a trick question. Option A is not correct. Now, look at option B. It says sum. The sum is the answer to an addition problem. And so we can just cross that one out since we're working with multiplication here. Option C has the word product, which indicates multiplication. Let's make sure the multiplication equation is correct though, unlike option A. The product of four and five means four times five. Is means equals, so four times five equals 20. Yep, that's correct. Now let's keep going. Option D has the word difference in it. Difference. Difference would be used if we were using subtraction, so option D is not correct. Last one. 
Let's look at option E. Five times as many as four can be written as five multiplied by four. And if we replace the is with an equal sign, we get five times four equals 20. This gives us the equation 20 equals five multiplied by four. And yes, that matches. Remember, multiplication is commutative, and that means you can change the order of the numbers being multiplied. 5 multiplied by 4 has the same answer as 4 multiplied by 5. That means options C and E correctly translate the equation into sentences. Wow. Let's do just one more problem. Problem 3. Sally read 25 pages. Tim read five times as many pages as Sally. Will read 20 more pages than Tim. How many pages did Tim and Will read together? We're going to need to work through this problem step by step. Let's start off by listing what information we already know. Sally read 25 pages and Tim read five times as many pages as Sally. Will read 20 more pages than Tim. Okay, Tim read five times as many pages as Sally. The phrase five times as many means that we will need to multiply the number of pages Sally read by five. Well, we can do that. 25 times five. Da, 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 da. There are a few ways you can calculate this, including the traditional way, or even by thinking about quarters and money. How much money is five quarters? That's 125 or 125 cents. So 25 times five is 125. Tim read 125 pages. Ooh, way to go, Tim. He probably almost finished the book. Next, Will read 20 more pages than Tim. This phrase more than means addition, not multiplication. But we can do that. 125 plus 20 is 145. So Will read 145 pages. Way to go, Will. He probably did finish the book. So how many pages did Tim and Will read together? Well, since it is the number that Tim and Will read combined, we are going to have to add those two numbers together. 145 plus 125 equals 270. Altogether, Tim and Will read 270 pages. Fabulous work today. Let's sum up what you learned. The word is represents the equal sign, and multiplication can be represented by key words and phrases like times as many, times as much, double, triple, product, or twice. Well, math is like another language. And you worked on translating back and forth from words and sentences into numbers and equations. Great job!